Welcome to BDSM Dungeon Play. We're going to continue our impact series with the second half, uh, our second segment or episode in our paddling sequence. We covered pervertibles in the first video. In this video, we're going to look at toys that were designed specifically with the idea of paddling in mind. So we'll start with this little pocket paddle. Uh, it looks like it's made out of oak. It's small, it's about this, the shape and size that you could stick it in your back pocket. And on the reverse side, uh, the Craftsman glued a piece of rubber that actually has tread on it. So it would leave, uh, if you hit hard enough, it could leave uh, an impression. This is a strap, but it's short enough it can be used in a spanking scene and it's actually three different lengths of strap that were put together with brads. So you can hit with it this way, you can turn it around, hit with it with the shorter side. When you hit with the shorter side, it makes a slappy sound, slappy noise, and a variation of sensations. When you hit with the long side, it's just pretty much just one sensation. Here's a little, um, uh, a ping pong size paddle uh, that's oak on one side and on the other side, it's got a nice fluffy furry side it's to provide different sensations. Uh, these gloves, they just look like leather gloves, but they're actually vampire gloves. And vampire gloves uh, have sharp, pointy, I don't know if you can see this in the video or not, but on the inside of the fingers is sharp pointy tack, tacks. And of course, if you spank with those, you could break skin or you could just use that lightly to create a sensation during a spanking scene. But they were specifically made with BDSM play in mind. So I'm not gonna consider those a pervertible. Although I know people that have taken just regular leather gloves and thumbtacks and have made their own homemade version of vampire gloves. Okay, this wooden paddle I consider uh, certainly a lifestyle paddle. They took an actual tread off the bottom of, or, or tread that was made for like a snow boot, but instead of mounting it on the bottom of a shoe, they created a paddle that was actually the size of, of this tread. So on this side, it's oak and a wood paddle. On this side, you're actually giving somebody the boot if you hit them with it. Uh, this, we don't think of paddling with this, but this was specifically made for lifestyle play. It's a padded weighted bat, and it's short enough that you can certainly use it in a spanking or over the knee or paddling scene. So I include that in my, my paddling bag. Um, this one's fuzzy on one side and it's got metal spikes on the other side. That certainly was crafted specifically for spanking. This leather slapper, it's just two pieces of leather sewn together, but certainly made for paddling. Uh, this one kind of is on a, a dog or puppy play theme, uh, made by a lifestyle crafter, obviously for strapping or paddling. And you can use the, the smooth side or the side that has the, the, the dog paws on it. This is kind of an exotic paddle. I say exotic because this side actually has a piece of alligator skin on it with the bumps off the back of the alligator. And then this side uh, is tooled with, uh, with leather crafting tools. So you have two different sensations with that. Now this one's a rubber paddle. I don't have too many rubber paddles, but I will say rubber is extremely stingy you don't have to hit someone very hard with that paddle to really get their attention this is one of my actual favorite paddles 
it's about the size of a ping pong paddle, but it's, it's all leather. It's two pieces of leather sewn together. And then it also additionally has these metal brads in it. And there's a stiffener that runs down the middle of it. That's a really, really nice paddle. Now this is probably the most evil paddle that I own. It's a lollipop paddle. The reason it's called a lollipop paddle is because it has a very small wooden head that's a, maybe about an inch and a half wide and round. And it is extremely stingy. It's on a shaft that's kind of like an oversized evil sticker metal rod that of course flexes. And it's got a nice little handle on it. And not only is it stingy, but it easily leaves marks. And if you're accurate enough with it, you can do cool designs with it. You could actually make uh, the Olympic rings on someone's butt with this paddle if you were accurate enough to line up your strikes uh, to be an Olympian in a spanking scene. Who, who can say that they're, they're an Olympic champion? Well, maybe the person that that uh, bends over my knee for a spanking scene with a lollipop paddle like this. So this is only the beginning of paddles. Uh, this is just an introduction to some of the paddles that I own. But as you explore spanking, you're gonna find your own cool paddles that you really like that go into your paddle toy bag to carry into the dungeon. Thanks again for watching. And hopefully in the next episode, we'll actually explore spanking a real live uh, spanking bottom for some OTK.